Hello and welcome to this video lecture on one of the Asian religions um, of Hinduism. Uh, using the organizer you should be recording information uh, for the religion of Hinduism. You may pause or replay this video at any time so that you may write the important information. So let's get started. How did Hinduism begin? Well, it was founded around 5,000 years ago with the Aryan people. Uh, they were a noble people and it was their philosophy, their religion and customs that were formed into the religion of Hinduism. It is thought to be one of the world's oldest religions and at this point in time worldwide there are almost one billion people that practice some form of Hinduism. You can see on the screen the map that shows the distribution of the religions in Asia and most of the Hindus, of course, practice Hinduism in India. <clears throat> monotheistic or polytheistic? Uh, that can be very confusing. Um, most people that are Hindu, most Hindus believe in a supreme God. And God, being, an, uh, being unlimited, can have unlimited forms. Hindus refer to Brahman as a supreme power that can take on many different Forms, and that can be the confusing part. So since they believe in one supreme being, we would classify this as a monotheistic religion. These are some of the different forms of Brahman, as you can see on the screen. There are three important forms. Brahma, which is in the upper left-hand corner. Brahma is known as the creator, responsible for the creation. Then there's Vishnu in the bottom left-hand corner. Vishnu is known as the preserver and protector of the universe. And then there's Shiva. Shiva is in the upper right-hand corner and Shiva was known as the god of destruction. So what do Hindus believe? Um, they believe in samsara, which is a process of death, life, and rebirth. They believe in reincarnation, which is where their soul is reborn into another body or another form after death. If a person lives a good enough life, then they can be reunited or be united, excuse me, with Brahman. They believe in karma, which is uh, the good and bad actions done during one's lifetime. Most of you have heard of karma and the respect that uh, what goes around comes around. And karma can affect uh, a Hindu's life after death. This is the cycle of life, death, birth. Moksha is the process that can interrupt this cycle of birth, life, and death. Samsara is the wheel of life and as you can see here it does show the many different forms. <clears throat> Hindus believe in the caste system which is an inherited social class. They believe that they are born into a particular caste. There are four main castes. The highest level, of course, are the Brahmins, which belong to the highest caste. They are the priests and the scholars. The Kshatras are the soldiers and warriors. The Varishas are the merchants and the professional people. And then the Sudras are the lowest caste. They are the laborers and servants. They do jobs that no other caste would do. They have sacred texts. The Suti, which is the oldest, most authoritative sacred, sacred text, which consists of the four Vedas or truths, myths, um, rituals, chants. And one of those great uh, stories is Ramayana and the Bhagavad Gita. Holy places. Um, all rivers, especially the Ganges River, is considered a holy place. Uh, they believe that the Ganges River falls from the source of Vishnu's feet onto Shiva's head and out from his hair. The water of the Ganges is sacred enough, according to Hindus, to purify all sins. That's why it's so important for Hindus, at least once in their lifetime, to make a trip to the Ganges River. Holy people. There is really no known founder 
uh, Hinduism was developed long before there were written records, so we can't really trace it back to one single person. The countries where Hinduism is practiced, of course, you can see according to the map on the screen. India is where the majority of the Hindus live, but they are also, this religion is practiced also in Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh. You can see from this screen that the distribution of the Hindus worldwide, uh, obviously there is a concentration of Hindus in India. Hinduism is um, all about the human uh, experience in preparation for the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Please see the next video on Buddhism for a continuation in this series. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Mrs. Moore's video lecture on Buddhism. This is the second in the series of ancient Asian religions. The first was Hinduism. The second one that we're discussing today is Buddhism. So how did Buddhism begin? Buddhism began around 2,500 years ago uh, with a prince named Siddhartha Gautama who began to question his sheltered, luxurious life uh, in his palace. One day he left the palace and saw four sights, a sick man, an old man, a dead man, and a monk. Um, these sights were said to have shown him that even a prince cannot escape illness, suffering, and death. The sight of the monk told Siddhartha to leave his life as a prince and become a wandering holy man, seeking the answers to questions like, why must people suffer? What is the cause of suffering? Siddhartha spent many years doing many religious practices such as praying, meditating, and fasting until he finally understood the basic truths of life. This realization occurred after sitting under a tree in Bogagaya, India for many days in deep meditation. He ultimately gained enlightenment or nirvana and was given the title of Buddha, which means enlightened one. Buddhism was founded in India and uh, quickly spread throughout Asia. Monotheistic or polytheistic? Like Hinduism, this um, can be confusing. And Buddhism is really considered a non-theistic or uh, no worship of gods. They do believe in spirits, uh, but they don't worship them. Buddha was considered uh, only a teacher, not a god. Basic beliefs. Basic beliefs of Buddhists similar to Hindus they believe in reincarnation, which is where the soul is reborn into another body or another form after death. And depending on how well they live their life, that can affect their life uh, in their reborn state. Karma is the idea of good and bad actions done during one's life. Um, again, as I mentioned in the earlier video, karma you were familiar with in the term or in the phrase, what goes around comes around. This is a um, cycle of birth, life, death, which is sometimes referred to as samsara, and it is the achievement of nirvana, or the state of mind that uh, would break this cycle. So what did Buddha teach? He taught of the Four Noble Truths, which consisted of giving up greed and selfishness. To live uh, is to suffer. The cause of suffering is considered selfishness. The solution um, to this suffering is to eliminate selfishness, thus achieving nirvana, which again is the peaceful state of mind that releases the cycle of rebirth. And it's reached through the eightfold path. Uh, again, nirvana is a peaceful state of mind, not the rock group. 
uh, achieving nirvana means that you escape from the cycle of rebirth, and it again is reached by following the middle way through the eightfold path. The eightfold path consists of eight rules to follow uh, to achieve nirvana. Wisdom, which means the right understanding and right motivation. Uh, moral discipline, which would be the right speech, right action, right livelihood, and the middle, excuse me, mental discipline, right effort, right mindfulness, and right meditation. The Eightfold Path uh, is this process by which they believe, uh, Buddhists believe that they can achieve nirvana. So what are some of the Buddhist texts, sacred texts? The Tripitaka is the earliest collections of Buddhist teachings. Um, and they consist of uh, Buddha's life and his practices and his rules, his sermons. Holy places. Um, the Bogagaya in India was believed to be the birthplace of Buddhism. It is where uh, Siddhartha Gautama achieved nirvana and became enlightened, where he was then referred to as Buddha. The founder, of course, is uh, Buddha, the enlightened one, also known as Siddhartha Gautama. So Buddha was born uh, again of the noble caste. He was raised in great luxury to be a king and he had empathy for the suffering of others um, at a very early age and he rejected his life of luxury to seek enlightenment and the solution uh, to all the human suffering that he saw. The spread of Buddhism. Within two centuries after the Buddha died, Buddhism began to spread north and east into Asia. By the 13th century, Buddhism had disappeared, had all but disappeared from India. So countries where Buddhism is a major religion. Um, in modern times you would see Buddhists practicing all around the world. However, there would be a concentration in India, China, Japan, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, uh, and many other Asian countries. As you can see here on the map, um, the two different branches or sects of Buddhism mostly practiced again in uh, the northwestern part of China along into Myanmar, Thailand, um, Laos as you can see here on this, uh, this map. These are some beautiful pictures of a monastery and various temples and places, sacred places of worship in the Buddhist religion. Thank you and please check into the next in the series which would be on Shintoism.